Hey, I'm gonna be sharing a pharmacology tip today and this is how I remember certain drug names and their mechanism of action. So if there is a drug and you know that you forget something about it, maybe the mechanism of action and you keep forgetting that even after revising over and over again. So you know you obviously have to know your weakness to make it um, a strength. It's like look your enemy in the eye so say for example I cannot remember the mechanism of action of finasteride and flutamide and I always get confused between baclofen and dandrolene and uh, there are some things about etambutol and pyrazinamide I just can't remember so I make a list of all the drugs that I cannot remember and then I um, right next to them whatever i keep forgetting about the drugs for finasteride uh, i know the mechanism of action is 5 alpha reductase inhibitor and for flutamide i know that the uh, mechanism of action is it is a competitive inhibitor of androgens at the testosterone receptor um, for baclofen I keep forgetting which um, how is it a muscle re relaxant and um, then I look it up in my book and I see it's a, an agonist at the GABA B receptor okay dantrolene I know that it um, prevents calcium release from the sarcoplasmic reticulum but I keep forgetting which specific receptor it acts on so then I write the receptor down for ethambutol I again forget the mechanism of action and uh, it involves some Arabic conversations I'm just kidding. It's Arbanan to Arabina Galactam. I can't even pronounce these names. How am I supposed to remember all of this? And for pyrazinamide, I'm pyrazinamide. Um, I keep forgetting that uh, this is the only anti-tubercular drug that acts in the acidic pH of the phagolysosome. So whenever they ask it in a MCQ or a question, I just get confused. And um, especially if baclofen and dantrolene are in the same uh, options or whether finasteride and flutamide, I just, I just forget. So the trick is that you take the mechanism of action and the drug and you find some common alphabets in them okay like uh, you know rid in finasteride and uh, reductase has an red so remember when you're kids and you have a crush say um jennifer lawrence and uh, josh hutchison so you kind of merge their names together and then you call joshifer and it's a fandom so that's how you're gonna do it with the drugs so instead of calling it um, well it's a similar analogy uh, I started calling phenesteride as phenesteridactase so now whenever um, I say phenesteride my head thinks of phenesteridactase and I immediately know the mechanism of action which is 5-alpha reductase inhibitor so you can do it with a lot of other drugs like flutamide has a ta and testosterone has a something in these so instead of calling flutamide i will call it flutestamide and that's how i will remember that um, flutamide is a competitive inhibitor at the testosterone receptor so you know whenever I think of flutamide, flutestamide and uh, flutestosterone something so I just know the mechanism of actions is by merging uh, them together uh, for baclofen see now I use them like in between but um, you can use it you know uh, in the beginning as well so instead of calling baclofen I will call it gabaclofen and that is crazy but uh, 
yeah it does my job of remembering which neurotransmitter it acts on uh, neurotransmitter receptor then uh, for dantrolene and um, rhinodine so they do have some our relationship with them so instead of calling it dantrolene i start calling it dantrinoline and that helps me remember about the rhinodine receptor taxon uh ethambutol again there is an am so i will call it as you all know it arban butol or something and it helps me remember the conversion of arbanian and to arban in galactam uh for pyrazinamide i think i screwed up the spelling uh pyrazinamide and it's um i just flip one letter which is m into a c and it turns acid and that's how i remember the acidic ph so yeah you can do it with a lot of drugs um whichever drug you don't uh, remember take a prototype drug write its mechanism or something about the drug that you keep forgetting and then just merge it like a uh, some silly fan girl yay josephor uh yeah and uh, let me know if this tip was helpful to you and um, if you use this tip and make a uh, mnemonic or something just let me know and that's all stay awesome